Meanwhile, the number one citizen of the country, President Muhammadu Buhari, has assured Nigerians that the final battle against terrorists was approaching its conclusion and victory was within sight. In his Salah message, the president, who sent his best wishes to Muslim faithfuls, maintained that the fight against insurgency has been a long and hard one. He said, with the designation of bandits groups as terrorists, the challenges of banditry and kidnapping are being tackled. The president also expressed delight over what he described as impressive reports of the special operations to curb crude oil theft and illegal oil bunkering in the south-south zone of the country. Earlier, we were joined by the Imam Dr. Abdu Fattah Ola Jobi. Meant to respect the rights of our neighbors. And uh, you see, in Islam, the Prophet said, Muhammad Islam said, that is not a believer who doesn't honor his neighbors. And your neighbors are not just the people that live with you or that are also Muslims. They can be no Muslims. People that live 40 houses to your right, 40 houses to your left, 40 houses to your uh, front, to your back. These are all your neighbors, and you must respect their rights. Because they are not Muslim doesn't mean you should treat them anyhow. And elections are coming. We need to behave um, with all civility. We need to practice goodness even as the election comes. I would uh, uh, enjoy us to all get our voters card so that we will not just be complaining after somebody wins governorship or presidential elections, and then you complain about how badly the person is doing, and then you didn't go out to vote. When you have the power to choose. So we need to do all this so that our nation can be great again. Really, it is not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be so difficult because we fasted for 30 days. And neuroscience has shown that whatever you do for about 21 days consecutively, you do it daily for about 21 days, your brain gets used to it and you form a habit. During Ramadan, the person some taught us that when people look for your trouble, we tell them, in the saw him, I am fasting. Don't look, don't when they look for your trouble, you avoid them. You avoid them. So after Ramadan, we're supposed to um, avoid people's trouble too. People, people are coming with, with trouble. You avoid them. Try to engage them reasonably. If you must use the law, use the law. Don't go through violence. These are some of the things we learned in Ramadan. And we should practice after Ramadan. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.